Hi everybody and welcome to our YouTube channel. Uh, you might be wondering, what am I wearing today? Well, if you didn't tune in <laughs> last week, you won't know because we're working on a cardigan. Arne is actually knitting me this cardigan and it looks like a sweater right now, but it's gonna be a cardigan. It's gonna be a cardigan. Yeah. Last time we were doing the sleeves and we've attached, or Arne has attached the sleeves now. And this time we're gonna be focusing on sticking the front part of this. They already mark the center. Yeah. And this is gonna become this great cardigan that I'm gonna be wearing all the time. Yes. Hopefully, unless you steal it from me. No. Well, this looks I'm good. My stick. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, we're gonna, a new one for we're, we're gonna we're <laughs> gonna focus on the sticking this time, and the next time again, we're gonna do the finishing touches, adding the placket, teaching you how to do the buttonholes and all that. Okay, let's so start. Let's start. So we have to find the opening of the neck. So I think, including the rib. I think it could be good, like on the, like this. So if I mark, I put, what do you call it? I stitch this together, just to mark it. You can make make a bow, red bow, on this side. And be quiet. Don't move. Okay. So and then I check the, the length. So that's like 12 and a half on that side. So then I do the same on the other side. This is the, the live mannequin. So 12 and a half. So that should be there. Then I make a new red ribbon on this side. I'm very excited about the... <laughs> you should be. The cardigan. Let me look at you. Fabulous, isn't it? It's gorgeous. And then we have to make the curve for the opening because this is like very traditional. No... It's going to be a round. a round neck. Okay, cool. So then I shape it on one side and then I just copy it on the other side. And after that we cut, right? And we cut. So if I go Same. down like to this side and then I just mark the line. This is how I learned it from my grandmother. She was always doing it like this hmm. when she made sweaters and jackets for us when we were kids. And then it's quite smart to just grab the sewing machine and do the seam cut. So now you see that will be the curve. I have to make this harder. Are you happy? Oh, you're getting a new sweater. So that's the line of the neck opening. And then I just copy it on this side. Now I mark the curve on the neck. And then I take the sewing machine and I do a zigzag on the outside of this red yarn and on the, the I would do it on the inside of this yarn. But hopefully outside on this and inside. Yes. But you do that without me in the cardigan. I yeah, I yeah, need to have it in the sewing machine. You yeah. can take it off. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay so um, Arne now is uh, basically sewing in the shoulder seam uh, and getting it ready. Up to the Yeah, the up, marking. To, the, up to the place the, that you mark. That yeah. is going to be the, the neck opening. So, um, and as you can see, he's just stitching it together. By so hand. Before we, we make the sticking, we finish the shoulder. And it's coming along beautifully. And I can't wait to get it ready. And as you can see, we bind off the body and then we stitch it together. But you can also leave the stitches on the top of the body open and then you can sew them together mm. like stitches. So there's another way to do it, but I think this is good. So we take this red yarn out. Yeah. 
this and one last stitch. Then I go inside. And I make fast and what do you call it? You Look how that I receive first. I just fasten the yarn yeah, on the inside. The, yeah. Nice. Like this. That should be enough. Mm -hmm. Then the body is ready for sticking. So let's see what it looks like now. Now you can see I marked the curve. So that's going to be the neck opening. Neck opening. Here and the front. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to make the zigzag and the straight seam. Yeah, a couple of seams on the sewing machine that are going to be sewn on the next outside. to the yeah, next to the red line going all the way down. The sewing machine zigzag and straight seam is what is going to keep the stitches held together as we cut it. Yeah. And I and I you see I have marked in one line of stitches and then I make the sewing in the stitches on one side and on, on the, the other, other side. side. On the on the opening, I will go over the yarn, and I do the zigzag on the like on the inside of this red yarn, not on this side, but on the inside. Okay. Okay. Let's get it done. So put it in the sewing machine. And and also, but on the back, I leave it like this because if when I when I make the rib. The placket. The placket. If I want to have a curve in the back, I don't have to cut the sweater in the back. You just pick up stitches a little bit lower because what's left will be hidden yeah. inside the tab on the mm. top. So let's start from the bottom. And surely there are many ways of doing this, but we find the sewing machine is the easiest, quickest, most efficient, most easy way. So I just can start with the straight seam on the side of the red yarn. Look at you go. Yeah. I'm more or less in the stitches below, but on the side of the red yarn. But you need like one centimeter seam allowance when you put the tab on. Mm. So basically you have a little extra. You have a little extra. To go with in case. But you just stitch next to the center front like this. On both sides. And again we use the, um, the length of the stitch stitches are four. Yeah, That's the longest, the longest length. length on this machine. And the reason we use very long stitches is because knitting is very elastic. So if you use stitches that are too short, you might actually tighten everything and you know the shape it will go wrong. Yeah. So with using the long stitches, you keep a nice easy tension that won't uh, ruin the elasticity of the garment. And now you see I've sewn up to the neck, then I went over the line for the neck, and then I continue sewing on the inside of this, or the outside, or... It's on, yeah, like I'd next, say the outside. Next to the neck. And then I make the curve next to this yarn. Mm. Beautiful. Up to the end. Then you can just turn it around. And you put, put the foot down, take the needle up, change into the zigzag, and you go back again, down again with the zigzag. Yeah. Following the same, Following the same path line. that you did on your way up. Now you're going down the same way. So that was the curve. Then you turn it again and you go down and you're, next yeah. to the center front line all the way down to the, the rib. And basically going over the same stitches that you sewn on the way up. So 
So it's more or less on the same side. But that's and again, problem. more or less because we do have a little bit of seam allowance, which means that it doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be covered. In anyway. theory, you go in the line of stitches next to the center prop, but when you start sewing, it may go. A little bit crooked sometimes. And actually on this, uh, this yarn, it's a little bit more difficult holding the, not difficult, but it's a little bit harder to hold the straight line because of all the colors. If you do a, like a traditional Norwegian pattern, you have easier lines to follow. Yeah. And also because, because it's pattern. softer, so it's, yeah. um, with the coarser yarn it will actually stay. And then I do well. the, the other side, and now I'm on the zigzag, so why not continue with zigzag on the other side of the center front line? So, and you, you should be very careful if you cut your, your sweater. I don't know if people do it, but if you cut it without sewing these stitches, you might have a problem. You probably lose a lot of stitches. Yeah. And we don't add anything or we don't take away anything of the numbers of stitches because of the front or the back. It's like it's the same number on both sides. Because when you put on the tab, you will add a little bit of volume, but mm. that is okay even for men or women. You need a little bit more in the front. So then I go all the way up again to the curve I made for the neck opening. Like this, I go over the neckline, like a centimeter or almost like approximately. And then I do the curve up to the shoulder. There was a little bit a bump, so I go over it to make it nicer. Go back. And now you go back to go the back again. straight stitches. Yeah. So I turn it around. Wait, where did that come from? From the thread. Oh no, I missed the unnutter on. Oh. What don't we unnutter on? And that, people, is why you should always make sure that you have the thread on the top and the bottom done before you do a tutorial, but it happens. No, but it's perfect. So they might as well show it. <laughs> That's enough. Yeah. Let's see how far did we come. Oh, nothing. <laughs> we, just, we just started and it, it was gone, so we do it again. And now I'm on, still on the zigzag, so zigzag, all, all the way up, next to the red yarn. Now you do it, you know, for the second time. You've got plenty of practice, with, you can do it really fast. With the under thread. Where did that tail come from? Oh my god. Okay, there we go, there we go. Now you should know how to make this. With under yarn, under tread. Ba -da -da -da. All the way up. Just keep going. You're a good helper, Almost you know. There. I'm trying to <laughs> cheer you on, you know, with all the obstacle you had with the thread and everything, so. Oh, it wasn't a problem. Turn it, make the curve. There we go. Finished. You can take the sewing machine away. We don't need the sewing machine anymore, so oh, it's later. Be magically disappearing for not, the time being. Not now, well, but not now. later. So there's like a lot of stitches there now, and I just cut these threads off. And if you, if you can see it, I don't know because the stitches are a little bit darker, but they're here on both sides of the red thread. You can see it all the way up now. So now we just open the jacket by cutting like on the red line, yeah. which and in the, the it's, it's the stitches in the center yeah. front. And the most, before you start cutting, I'm just gonna tell you something, the most important thing 
to think about when you start cutting is the fact that you've done up and down on both sides, the stitches are all there, they're all gathered by the thread from the sewing machine. There's no way these stitches can just disintegrate now. So just have a lot of confidence and cut it because it's, nothing's going to happen. No, I, I'm starting. So, so there we go. Have to go on the red yarn or like in, the, in between these. Yeah. So you see, as Arne cuts. And there's like a lot of red yeah. yarn to get rid of. I could use normal sewing thread, but... But it's easier with it's a red easier. yarn when you're showing this on a video, so... Or you could also mark the center front with a line of pearl, instead of using this yarn that I used. Yeah, but again, as long as you know where the center of your garment is, it's not a problem just to knit it on the round and then yeah, mark and on, it with on a thread. The, on it's this the one is no problem because there's no pattern. Yeah. If you do a traditional sweater with like eight leaf roses mm. or anything, you want to have the pattern balanced yeah. on and the then front and back, and a... then you need to be careful with. Yeah. And then you should do a pearl or do something a pearl. so that you can get that line going up. But we're just showing you kind of like the basics like of how to stick a sweater, so we don't really need to. We have to. some yarn too. Yeah. So, so that's the opening, and then I cut the curve. This you can use for filling for your Christmas balls or mm. anything. Yeah, or the. The master of recycling has spoken. So don't throw anything away. Yeah, you can card it and then use it for stuffing. Like that. And there you have it. A, uh, oh, we started with a sweater that I had on and now it's opened, it's steaked, it's cut, it's a cardigan. Or anyway, it's, it's closer a to a cardigan, yeah. uh, which is great. So now you saw the way we stick, uh, the easy way, the, the way for the lazy people. And, uh, and yeah, next, next time uh, we're going to finish it off. We do uh, the, the tab. What we're going to do, yeah, the placket. The placket with the facing and the buttonholes. Yeah, we're going to show you how to do the placket with the facing and the buttonholes. And we're going to attach it to, to the, the cardigan. Yeah and show you how to do that. And once you do that, you can start, you know, cutting and sticking anything you want because you're going to be masters at this. Yeah. Okay. So stay tuned. Um, <laughs> as always, remember, we've got patterns on our website. So go to arnacarlos.com, get free patterns. Uh, we've got a couple of things written on the cardigan. We got photographs that we've posted there as well so that you can, you know, take your time, have a look at everything. If you want to get the yarn, you can also go to our website and look for retailers there and basically yeah we're excited i'm <laughs> so excited it. because yeah, we're almost wait. finished and i'm gonna get to wear this all winter that is coming so uh Happy things yeah so come back <laughs> come back and see us again uh, feel free to subscribe and uh, to our to our channel and we'll see you again soon so bye, bye.